Jack hole. The inside of the shop is very much like Never Never Land. We just don't grow up. You put your eye out. No, I can't. <laughs> Justin's our comic relief, kind of like a whipping boy. What we're going to do now, we're going to play William Tell. <laughs> Missed it. Scotty, you're up. You are pointing this right at my face, you son of a That was awesome. You guys aren't gonna make dime one out of this license plate. Paid way too much for this thing. Yeah, we paid too much, but you know what? It's kind of cool, and you can always eat it. I wonder what it tastes like. I don't know, but I'm sure Oscar would probably eat it. <laughs> you know, I just thought of a good idea. OK. You know, there's a bakery in town here that makes uh, dog cookies. I bet Hi. you if we get one that looks like this and we set it out somewhere, and then Oscar comes up and eats it, Justin flip out. flip out. Uh, we'll flip out on Justin. On Justin. Because we paid too much for it. Dude, that would be. Oh my God, it's going to be priceless. I'll make a call. All right. So what have you done today? Uh, I played a ukulele. Any sales? Not yet. I think Justin's a perfect example of how we like to take in strays. At Branson Pond, we'll take anything. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's going good, man. How you doing? Doing good. I love your dog. I think Scott actually hired Oscar, and Justin just kind of came along. He was at the other end of the rope. I could use some work, bro. Dude, that's dude. a hard town. Why don't you come in? And I'll give you a job or something. I guess our philosophy is: bring us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. We'll bring you into Branson Pond. It's the new America. Yeah, man. Let's do it. All right. Come on, Oscar. You can obviously tell the differences between them, right. but I don't think he's ever seen this. I don't think. Well, he has and he's not smart enough anyway. Well, yeah. So I, th I think it was. I think it's perfect. Everybody knew that we bought this soy license plate that's obviously edible. So we called the dog bakery to have an exact replica made, and then we want to make it look like Oscar actually ate it and just flip out on Justin. This is gonna be a good one. You got a light. Oscar, look. What's that? What is it? Oh my God. Go, 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 okay. good. Run, run, Oscar. The dog's got the plate. What the hell? Oh, there's no doubt he's going to fall for it. What the Dude, we just sold that. Oh, I'm what? sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. It's ruined. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, what do you want me to do? He's a dog. Justin Gullible. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Look at his face. I know, but that face doesn't pay 100 bucks. Well, it's not his fault, Justin, but... I'm paying for the tag now, the full thing. Really? OK, I'll bring you the money. Fair enough. Is everybody happy now? I'll be happy. All right. Oh, hey, Justin, by the way, it's a dog cookie. This is a dog cookie? <laughs> you fools. <laughs> That's a cookie. <laughs> hey, guys. Where, Where are you, you taking, taking us? us? Here. Look at this. Oh. Wow. I was hoping for a limo. Instead, I get a duck bow. I've never ridden a duck before. Neither I. After you, gentlemen. A duck boat is one of the most famous attractions here in Branson. And basically, it is an amphibious bus. It's a good old duck ride. Where are you taking, taking us? No! Coming up. Oh, what in God. the world is that? Scott is willing to pay how much for a glorified lawnmower? We'll play a game for the 500 bucks. Play along live at discovery.com. Don't do it, man. 
plus a perfect pairing of bubbly... An unopened bottle of Dom Perignon from 1966. And bacon. You've got until 5 o'clock this evening to find this pig at home. Save it from the butcher. The stakes are high after this. the shores of Normandy at three miles an hour. Scotty, our good buddy from St. Louis, tells us that he has a surprise for us. Boy, have I got some for you, boys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. The wait is almost over. Oh, my gosh. Here you what? go, boy. I brought you a gift. Oh, oh what my in God. the world is that? Is that a Beatles yellow submarine? Absolutely. <laughs> Check it out. That is sick. Gets more stared than a naked lady at a Shriner convention. That's what it kind of reminds me of, a Shriner car. <laughs> yeah, it does. Totally, man. Custom go-karts are nothing new. In fact, the Shriners are known for their miniature parade cars powered by lawnmower engines. The popularity of go-karts worldwide has spurred a custom market. Some fetch over $17,000. So this this won't actually float. It's more of a. Well, it's let's say not for yeah. long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The yellow submarine is amazing. I think it'd be great to have in our shop or the museum. So price wise, I'd be happy with sixty five hundred bucks. Scotty, you are out of your mind. I give three for it. Oh. Three thousand? Yeah. I'd come down to five then. Hmm. Come on. I'll give you 3500 for it with a chance of four grand. We'll play a game for the 500 bucks. All right, I'm a betting man. All right. Good let's for you. do it. All right. That's why we love you, Scott. Right, so let's do it. You ready? As I'll ever be. Which Beatles sang lead vocals for Yellow Submarine? Hmm. Mm hmm. I would say that it was John. No, it was Ringo. Oh, no, Ringo got to sing a song. I knew. No, no Ringo never sing. sings a song. <laughs> they got right. two two questions left. <laughs> okay. So you got to get both of them. Oh, yeah, the pressure's on. This one's going to be multiple choice. What was the name of the first submarine commissioned by the U.S. Navy? Was it A, the USS Halibut, B, the USS Holland, C, the USS Stingray, or D, the USS Cutlass? It's a crapshoot to me. So I'm going to have to go with B. That is correct. It is yes. the USS Holland. Oh, my God, that was a lucky guess. OK, final question, multiple choice. This is for everything right it's here, OK? Money. All right. What year was the movie Yellow Submarine released? Was it A, 1964, B, 1970, C, 1968, or D, 1961? Ooh. 1968, I was nine years old. I'm gonna have to go with 1968. That is correct. Yeah! That is correct. Yeah! Good job. Yeah! It is the coolest thing that I've bought in a long time. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. <laughs> is that where his belly button was, Jess? I think that's where he pees. I think that's his wing. Oh, my God. It is not. <laughs> that is not his thing. Yes, it is. Oh, my yes. God. I just you touched put it. Your well, it doesn't peel. look like one. I thought it was his belly button. Thanks, Jim. I got like a little, <laughs> a little perf. Perf. How about we give him 10 bucks and tell him to put him back in the dumpster? I like that idea. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, did a little bit of research. Why don't you tell me what you were looking to get out of these? I was looking to get about a thousand. A thousand. <laughs> A thousand, just I can't do that. I looked it up, and there was a version that sold for sixty-five hundred online, but it wasn't this one. If I were going to make an offer on what you have here, you'd be looking at about ten bucks. Give me like you know two hundred. Uh, you, you can give me two hundred. I can't give. I cannot give you two hundred. I'd be losing so much money. It's just 
and not even in the realm of possibility. I appreciate you coming in. Sorry we couldn't do anything, man. It's all right. I don't know if we'll ever see Johnny again, but if he keeps his dumpster diving going, you never know. Here's the situation. You're a prick. He went through the hardness of clawing his way through a dumpster to find it. You couldn't pay me $10 to get into a dumpster. When I have to go throw things in the dumpster, I will use a napkin to open the lid of the dumpster. Oh, absolutely. To... Oh, he's OCD. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He, he dude, eats dude, with the plastic dude goes to a thrift there. shop and he's like, ew. <laughs> Brian is so OCD. Everything's got to be pristine with him. He won't even use the bathroom downstairs. I won't use the bathroom downstairs. I won't use the bathroom upstairs. The bathroom I use is my bathroom at home. That's called home court advantage. It's kind of a zoo around here. <gasps> oh my god! We do share the shop with a horde of animals. Oscar sits in the window. Everybody loves bulldogs. It's a great attraction for us. Clem is the shop manager, but Tango very well could be Clem's master. Ew, 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 ew. It's big. Jessica's our newest employee. Oh, they're fighting. She's a good girl. That thing's disgusting. Looking. She's not dumber than a bag of hammers, which is good. Knox, I, I hate to use the word grunt, but, you know, if we need something taken upstairs, if we need to suck the gasoline out of a motorcycle, that's who we call. Ah! Oh my God! Holy! <laughs> <f> <laughs> Whoa!